In this chapter, we will cover conditional statements. Conditional statements control the flow of a script. Up to this point, we've had no control over what parts of the script are executed. We can only execute a sequence of events in a linear manner. With conditional statements, we're able to execute specific portions of a script according to previous actions or results. The first and most popular statement is the if statement. The spoken equivalent of an if statement would simply be, if this happens, then execute this. It is a simple statement. It's the word if, followed by a round bracket, followed by a conditional statement that will return true or false. That's followed by a closing round bracket and a statement or code block that will be executed if your conditional statement returned true. Here's an example of a simple if statement. In this if statement, we have only one line of code being executed if our conditional statement had returned true. If you want to execute multiple lines of code within an if statement, they must be contained within curly braces, as we have here. If you remember back to the operators we learned about in the third chapter, this is where we can now use them. Because they return a boolean true or false, within an if statement is exactly where they can be used. Let's examine the third statement in this script. First, we have in brackets a equal to b. Is a equal to b? Well, let's do some substitution in here. a is 1, b is 6. Let's follow that through the rest of the statement here. b again is 6, a is 1, c is y. So, let's break down each statement. Is 1 equal to 6? Remember, double equal sign is a comparison operator. So is 1 equal to 6? No, it's not. So that statement is false. Is 6 plus 1 equal to 7? Yes, it is. That is true. Is y equal to y? Of course it is. True. Now what about this 1 down here? Well, remember back again to what a Boolean operator is. A Boolean operator can also be a 1 or a 0. 1 is true. So now we go back and evaluate any brackets. So here we have the statement true and true. Well, if something is true and it's true, then it will return true. So our if statement is now if false or true or true. What will that return? That whole statement will return true. Therefore, this code will get executed. In example 4, we ask, is A equal to B? Well, what is the answer? If you said false, you're incorrect. Remember what we talked about with the equal sign and how a single equals is an assignment operator. The double equals is a comparison operator. Here we have a single equals and when an assignment statement happens it always returns true. Therefore this statement is true. This is a major cause of bugs in a script. So if a conditional statement is not working as you expect always check the equal signs. Finally in example 5 we ask is A equal to B? What do you think? If you again said false, then you are again incorrect. Remember here in example 4, we assigned B to A. So A became 6, which is the same as B. So here, 6 is equal to 6. That returns true and this code is executed. Just a little example of how one little mistake can affect your whole script.